Hello teachers, in this video, I'll guide you how you can create subjective homeworks or assignments for your students. So to do that, you have to enter into a Flipman application. Now just find out the school tab. So in your case, your name of the school will be written over here. So just tap on that tab. Now you have entered your school and you can see all your classes and subjects allotted to you over here. So now in whichever subject you want to create your homework or assignment into just press that choose that subject for my case I'll just choose English grammar plus and I can enter into that. Now I can see it is all my work which I've done in the past which I've given my students today I want to create a new homework right so to do that I will just press on the add an activity or resource button. Now I'll just press on the all options so it will show you show me all the all the features I can access right now I want to create an assignment so just choose assignment now the system will ask me a couple of things which I have to give the input of so the assignment name can be pen paper homework on adjectives now I can decide to write questions over here I can type questions question 1 question 2 or if I have the ready-made uh, uh, text, I can just copy and paste over here, right? Also, I can attach the question paper image also. So I can just choose the image option. Now I can browse the repositories and I'll upload a file and choose file. I'll click a picture. If I don't have it in my library, I'll click a picture from my phone. Here, this is my, let's say a question paper. I'll click a picture and I'll use the photo. Now I task this, I can just press on the upload, skip all of this and press on the upload this file. Now I have to choose this image is decorative only. Okay, this is a compulsory option to choose. This image is decorative only and just press on the save image. That's done. So I've written some questions. I've given a question paper as well. Now uh, you can just uncheck this one if you don't want the this, uh, description to be shown on the course page. Okay, just let it be. Now if you have additional files to attach, you can attach over here PDF document or anything, right? Now the system is asking you the availability, which means when is this assignment going to open? So let's say I can just give it a time, today's date, right? And I can decide that it will be for example from from one o'clock today okay and i can give a cutoff date which means that by this time students will not be able to after this time the students will not be able to submit so i can give them exam um, example two days to do this work okay so two days work under the grade option you can just go and choose how many points you want to give to this homework let's say 20 points you can just do that okay and under uh, restrict access, you can decide which section is this going work going to. Or now come to the activity completion. That is okay. You don't have to make any change over here. Students can manually mark the activity as complete. That's fine. And now just change the date and time over here. So this is a time where which you want to show the students that this work is uh, the work which has to be done. And this will be displayed on the student timeline as a reminder to them. So. The homework is starting today, so I can give them today's time as a reminder that, you know, hey, you have to do this work. So let's let me put up, let's say one o'clock. So this will go on the timeline at one o'clock. That's it. And just press on the save and display. The moment you press on the save and display, the homework is created and the assignment is created and sent to the students as a notification. You can also Press on the generate short link option. You see this homework, you have come on top, pen, paper, homework on adjectives. Students have similarly got the notification on their phones. Also, if you want to share it directly, you can also press on the generate short link and you can copy the link over here. So there's a, there's a copy button over here. You can just copy this. This is copied. Okay. Now the moment you copy it, you can send it to the students through whatsapp or any other tool which you want to share it with okay however it has already gone to the students phone and they're in the timeline it is it will show on the right time so that's an additional feature which we are giving to you 
okay now when the students start to submit their work you will see that right now that you have got 24 participants in your class and submitted by zero the moment students start to submit you will get see, see the number will increase and then you can press on the view all submissions and then that you can actually see how many students have submitted their answer sheets so that's all teachers this is how you can create assignments thank you so much for watching in the next video i'll also show you how you can check the answer sheets using annotations which the students have submitted to you stay tuned thank you so much for watching bye bye